Hello, my name is Joel Crist. I'm a developer with Econo Systems, and today I'm going to do a walkthrough of the process of creating an ASP.NET 2.0 website that has the ability to send calendar appointments to an Outlook 2007 calendar. Today we're going to use Microsoft Visual Studio 2005 to create an ASP.NET 2.0 website. So we'll come here on the file menu and choose to create a new website. We're going to create an ASP.NET website. We're going to do it in C Sharp, and we're going to name it calendar appointment. Okay, so Visual Studio goes ahead then and generates the basic website for us. So now we're going to modify the default ASPX page it was created for us. We're going to give this page a name called iCal Test, and then we're going to replace Visual Studio generated HTML with some of our own markup. Okay, let's go take a look at the page in design mode and see what it, that markup gives us. Gives us a really simple page um, that provides some controls and an interface to allow a user to specify some information about a calendar appointment. They can specify the appointment summary, a description, and they can choose starting um, date and times and time zones. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do now is wire up some code to our add event button here. Okay, so by double clicking on the button now, Visual Studio generates the button click handler for us here. Um, we're going to replace this Visual Studio generated code with some of our own, changing some things here. We add in a using statement for system.txt so that we can use, use the string builder class down here. We add some code to the page load event handler. Basically, if the, it's the first time the page is loaded, we set the current date on the two calendar controls to today's date. And then down here in the click event handler, we start creating the content um, that represents the calendar event as specified by the user through the user interface on the web page. And so we allocate our string builder variable here, use that to then start appending um, strings here that represent the calendar event. And first thing we do is we come in here and define the time zones that we give the user the option to specify Eastern, Central, Mountain, and Pacific. Um, time zones, so we define what those are, the properties of those, and then we finally come down here and we define the actual event using the um, values that the user specified through the controls on the web page. So we get the time zone ID here via the drop down list, and we get the starting and ending dates and times um, for the event that the user is wanting to create. And then we come down here, get the summary and description text that the user enters in through the interface. We date and time stamp the event and then get out and, and close off the definition of the calendar event. And then we set the content type on the response stream to text slash calendar. We add a content disposition header um, specifying an attachment of calendar event one dot ICS. So we're specifying that we're going to stream down um, in the response stream um, a calendar file, an ICS file. And then we actually do that. We write the contents of the stream builder object to the response stream and then end the response. And then this is just a helper method we use up above here when we're formatting the dates and times to make sure that we have two digit um, date and time values. So for example, if it's the month of May, that's a single digit month value of five. The formatting of the string that we want to specify for the month though needs to be zero five. So this just does some simple checking to make sure we have a leading zero if we need it. Okay, so let's build. It looks like everything built successfully. Okay, so now we're ready to test our page out here and see how it works. So if I switch over to Internet Explorer and navigate to the default.aspx page on our calendar appointment website, we're presented with the form here that lets me specify some information about a calendar event. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to pick a starting time of 10 a.m. Pacific, my local time, and an ending time of 11 a.m. Pacific. We'll go ahead and choose to set it to be for Friday tomorrow. And now we'll click on Add Event. At this point here, we see the, res the result of us then writing the contents of the ICS file to the response stream. We get prompted with the file download dialog here. We can either choose to save this and import it later into Outlook, but right now we're going to go ahead and open this. That launches Microsoft Outlook um, with our appointment uh, displayed here. Sh shows our summary text, our description here. Here's the start and end date and time tomorrow, 10 to 11, my local time. So at this point here now, if I choose to save and close and then go take a look at my calendar, I can see that I've got actually my summary event there sitting on my calendar now. So it looks like Outlook was able to successfully add the, um, the calendar event to my Outlook calendar.
Okay, so by creating an ASP.NET 2.0 website in Visual Studio 2005 and then designing a form that allowed the user to enter some information about a calendar appointment, it's very easy for us then to create the contents of a .ICS iCalendar file, write that to the response stream and send that down to the client and do it in such a way that then Outlook was then able to open up that calendar appointment and then add it to our Outlook calendar successfully.